Well, Erica wasn't even born in the 90s, so. I was not. 2000s, baby. Welcome to an extended series of 90 Seconds with Alyssa and Kristen, where we sit down with Olympic silver medalist, Erica Sullivan. Erica Sullivan is completely taking over the world with her charm and her humor. She's completely real, completely chill. Do kids still say chill these days? Where we discuss her road to the Olympics, her historic silver medal swim in the 1500 for the first time in Olympic history, and other various topics. If you haven't seen the race, Google it. (laughs) Watch her race. Ever since I was a kid, I've always been drawn to the Olympics. Me too. So when I was four and I'd watch the Olympic Games happen, you know how people celebrate when they make their gold medal? Mm -hmm. I I did a habit where I'd swim across the pool at four years old and I'd like slam the water and celebrate. I go, yay! And then uh, when I was eight, I religiously watched Phelps get his eight, uh, his eight in Beijing. And I just remember like, that was just so iconic. The Lizak relay, the four by 100 freestyle relay. I I remember jumping on the sofa. (laughs) With Rowdy Gaines touching out the French. And uh, that was craziest moment. Still remember it at eight years old. And then uh, 2012, I remember uh, being a little more well-versed in swimming, knew what was going on. And then 2016, I was able to go to trials and uh, got to experience that. And then now I'm at. 2020 games which is still hasn't sunk in yet but that's so awesome yeah it's been cool that's a great story your times have been steadily drop you were was steadily dropping in the 1500 yeah yeah I was definitely set on a olympic team path I mean I made the junior team when I was 15 years old um went on a 2016 junior team trip 2017 junior team trip where I was voted captain um, and then that kind of escalated to national team trip in 2018. Um, I think my route's a little bit weird because I didn't really stick to just like pool swimming. I kind of interchanged within open water and pool swimming, um, which is great sport that doesn't get enough attention. We it really go, doesn't. It we really can go doesn't. to depth later. Like the woman, Ashley and Haley, who are my friends, swim yesterday and they are I so them. bad. They I were so them. cool. Yeah, they were great. <laughs> 29 and 31 they're throwing down 10 k's so they're the best all my love goes to them I miss them I love them I'm gonna go visit them pretty soon so I'm pumped but um yeah so then 2019 I kind of took the more open water route um I dropped I went from like a 1602 to 1555 but it was pretty much just in routes of training for 25k in open water and then pandemic hit and if I did race in the pandemic I promise you I would not have dropped time like it was just my my distance swimming like really really lacked just because I didn't I didn't have pool space and I was swimming in lakes and backyards so um yeah my my mile time did not drop in 2020 but uh full swing 2021 stayed home from college another year really trained and got a few more seconds off I think this is the biggest drop I've had in a long time though I've dropped Oh man, 14 seconds this season. Well, you dropped from, from the, from the heat, like the prelims before the finals too. Yeah. So I dropped, I added a second at Olympic trials prelims and that was supposed to happen. I wasn't shaved. Um, I, which is so funny that that's a thing for swimmers. Like you drop time, (laughs) you shave down like a dolphin. So you don't shave if you don't want to drop time, which is, a whole nother mind blowing concept, but yeah, I didn't shave going into the prelims going into finals. I swam a 1551 drop four seconds, but s- swim at like an idiot. I mean, I sacrificed arm, leg and rights to my firstborn child to finish that race. <laughs> like I sold my soul to the devil and it hurt. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that was trials. And I honestly came off of trials feeling really unfulfilled. Everyone's like, you made the Olympic team. How does it feel? And I still kind of felt empty. I wasn't really happy with myself. I wasn't happy with the way I raced. And then, yeah, went to the games, dropped, I think I won a 46. So I dropped five seconds off of my Olympic trials final time, which did not expect. And then I went ahead and dropped another five going into finals, which also totally did not expect. So yeah, it's been crazy, but 
Yeah, I I mean, I guess some people definitely saw it coming, but um, I'm glad that I was able to put it like try to make the team because the youngers are I'm starting to hit an age where the younger kids are starting to come up and it's about their time to take the stage. And I think if it was in 2020, my spot would have been a lot more solidified. But I'm glad I was able to put it off and really have my moment this games.